Burks has got five now. There it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. P. Burks covering, and it's good. P's got the lead up to 14 now for the 76ers. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving them medicine. Burke kicks to Gobert. Gobert, the screen. No one near him. And too long on the shot. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Five to shoot. Pulls it up. No good from P. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Here's Gobert, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The Jazz have gone 6 of 11 from the line tonight. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. And, guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 19 to 7 run. Here's P. A three-pointer off the mark. Jazz trail by 14. Thirty-four seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Burks. The rebound by P. P's got his third rebound tonight. Seventeen seconds left in the first half of basketball. And the layup falls. P's got 39. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. The feed to Burks. Takes a three. They get the rebound. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. And we finished one half of basketball. 76ers lead by 14. And we'll be back right up. Okay, that was some strong work in the first. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, he was in attack mode from the word go. Came out very aggressively in that first half. Take a look at his shot chart. It looks like the ink spilled right at the rim. No reason for him to settle for anything less. Favors and Gobert, the shot blocking duo inside. Shelvin Mack is out there with Hood, and it's Hayward in at the three slot. That's the group right now for Utah. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing the them around. Stick Straight bully ball. ball. The pass to Holt lets it go from 14. That is good. And the 76ers lead by 16. Utah has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Favors with the screen. Here's Hood. Pass to Gobert. Hayward on the wing. Trying his luck deep. Okafor grabs the miss. Philadelphia leading by 16. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And now Utah, fast break. Hayward's running. Good. Max got 14. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. 
Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. It's tipped. And the foul called on Freak. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Jazz trail by 12. Now here's Burke. Feeds it to Gobert. And Buck, here's the dunk. Hmm. Now nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those plans. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's P. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. P's got 41. What handles? He broke the D down to the ground with that move. There's a screen. Hayward kicks to Hood. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Hayward. He's averaging 20 points five assists and six rebounds. And he brings that offensive firepower to the team. Scoring just comes naturally. And you know, defenses are, are throwing everything at him, Sid, yet he's still able to put up points. He's really unstoppable. Here's P. And he banks in the layup. P's got 43 points. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up, sets the example for everyone. Here's Hood, and it's blocked. And that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Jazz retaining Jazz possession. Ball. Here's Burke. Ball stolen. Fast break, Philadelphia. Here. Oh! Oh! Boom! And nobody getting in the way. Not at all. Major throw down there. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into quick points. And that can't continue. I mean, if they hope to get back in this game, I mean, it's really deflating from a morale standpoint. They need stops and points, not turnovers. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Move the ball and stick it too much. Utah with the rebound. To the wing right side. Now, here's Burke. Tight defense on him. This one for three. And that is good. He just sagged off just enough. 